Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent Act Special Forces, and I wanted to talk to you today about AMD's cDNA. Yes, we got some time before it's actually released, but it should be something we should keep on our radar, especially from a mining perspective. Because AMD's cDNA division, which is branching out from our DNA, is going to be focused on compute, which is a good thing for us. I want to read a couple things to you, and then wrap up with my thoughts. But let me know what you guys think. AMD is introducing CDNA, a new compute specific graphics architecture built for data centers. AMD usually has a shared singular architecture for consumers and workstation, which gives Radeon graphics some notable benefits but drawbacks as well. Traditionally, each generation of AMD's various Radeon graphics offerings revolve around the same underlying architecture. NVIDIA creates different GPU configurations for its data center and consumers. So we have Tesla, specifically for compute, data centers, uh, large businesses or server area, while the consumer gets a graphics card of, you know, focus mainly on the gaming side of things. Well, AMD is trying to get some market share in that data center arena, and it already has... Uh, some acquisitions but it's got a big fight ahead of it because we know Nvidia has got a strong grasp but now we have a division focused on RDNA a gaming optimized architecture and cDNA compute optimized architecture now cDNA is a good move as data centers uh, GPUs don't have many features of consumer graphics card needs, uh, Patrick Moorhead said. This includes elements like display and pixel rendering engines and ray tracing. This also means that AMD can save costs by removing those elements and add more gates to help the data center performance like tensor ops. Cutting all those gaming rendering bits out means AMD can devote more space in CDNA GPUs towards the hardware that accelerates a central task, compute workloads. This means, in short, that the die, the die area that has features on it or architecture designed for gaming can be cut out and more compute focused elements can be put on that die. So this GPU can be specifically focused for compute and this GPU can be specifically focused for gaming. The industry has seen a boom in demand for GPUs in the data center, driven in large part by rapid progress in neural networking, deep learning, and all things AI. GPUs have become a critical part of data center workloads, and their roles continues to grow every year. AMD already has a supplier in Cray, which they have scored two big supercomputer wins in the United States, totaling over $1 billion in CPUs and GPUs. AMD's goals for cDNA are simple and straightforward. Build a family of big, powerful GPUs that are specifically optimized for compute and data center usage in general. This is a path AMD has already started to go on with Vega 26 or Vega 20 that's utilized in Radeon Instinct MI50, MI60. But now it's going to be even more specialized or optimized for the compute uh, slash data center workloads. Since cDNA is now its own branch of AMD's GPU architecture, with the command falling under Forest NORAD, it also has shown its own roadmap with multiple generations, and they're treating Vega 20 as the branching off point. So we're going to have cDNA 1 and cDNA 2, and if we look at the roadmap, what we know already is Big Navi is on its way. It should be here either middle of this year or towards the end of this year, or maybe a couple of different revisions. So we'll have one mid-year, one end of the year. But afterwards, with Big Navi coming towards the end of 2020, we can see cDNA, its second generation of AMD Infinity Fabric, uh, and a device specifically tuned for compute coming maybe like mid to end of 2021, and then another revision um, towards the end of that, CDNA 2. But take these dates with a grain of salt because they can always change their mind. Uh, matter of fact, I actually have a, uh, a date that might help you. AMD hasn't said an introduction of CDNA will materialize, uh, 
ah, materially change the design of consumer RDNA graphics, much less than RDNA GPUs will be affected e even if so. It could take years for cDNA and RDNA to substantially diverge with both cDNA and cDNA2 planned uh, to launch before 2022. And we already know that AMD has, uh, what is it, El Capitan, which is a super supercomputer that's due to be delivered in 2023. So we know cDNA2 is probably going to be out before 2023. That's why I was saying maybe middle uh, to end of 2021 for cDNA and then 2022 uh, for cDNA2. But because AMD is utilizing Infinity Fabric and optimizing these GPUs specifically for compute, if we think about that for a second, that's interesting to me. We already know that AMD has a GPU, the Radeon 7, that's specifically tuned or not specifically tuned, but it's damn good at mining Ethereum. It's one of the best uh, GPUs to mine Ethereum with, right? So with that mindset, if we get a card that's specifically tuned for compute, uh, and we can get our hands on it, because that's going to be the hard part, getting our hands on it, because most data center GPUs are sold in bulk to a business. Uh, a, a normal consumer like myself won't be able to just be like, hey, can I get one? No, so, but if we can see those GPUs or the architecture or just... The, the overall GPU impact the normal consumer market, then we might be able to utilize those GPUs for uh, different workstation loads, compute, folding at home, and cryptocurrency mining. That's what I'm interested in. I want to see that actually take place. It may be some time before we actually do, but as AMD improves its overall compute performance, we should see a, a, some type of... Uh, it you know the performance or something trickled down into the consumer grade hardware uh where it can help us mine more efficiently uh and and, and you know just be better at mining certain algorithms especially since amd is going to be focusing on making that device just compute back in the day matter of fact uh not back in the day but if you have a radeon um rx 580 590 there's actually a feature here uh, inside your settings where you can go and actually turn on uh, compute and unfortunately that's not in here on the RX 5700 or, or 5000 series but it is a feature that you could go ahead and turn on and tune the GPU specifically for compute or for graphics so it'd be nice to see AMD bring that feature back in for future GPUs but as well as see the, the type of hardware that they release tuned for compute workloads so i'm interested in it i just want to share my thoughts with you uh let me know what you think for cdna how you think it might impact the mining community uh or any compute workloads that you work on uh besides cryptocurrency mining in the comments below uh do me a favor hit the like button on the way out and subscribe for more content like this i i, I really look forward to what amd is going to provide they're going to have a huge fight trying to fight nvidia in the data center slash uh compute arena but it will be an interesting uh situation because amd is doing really good on the cpu side and we're still waiting for intel to answer back so anyways guys I'm not gonna take up any more of your time thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one